to the Eaton Family Thunderdrome for the Muscle Car League. Meet 7, Season 12. We've got the current leader of the competition, the number one seed, Old Man Glory, sitting in lane four. He has two top ten cars to face off against. Next to him on his left is Gas Monkey, who is in third, and Sweet Ride in two, who sits in eighth. We also have Rusty Blood Pumper in one, the rookie. And on the other end, bookending on lane five, it's Mercury Rising, the old veteran. My right, favorite for this race is the top seed. It should He is the only winner from the last meet. So Gas Monkey and Sweet Ride would love to remedy that, but they're up against a very hot old man glory. Former six-time grand champion in the lead, looking for number seven. Tight, even race onto the flag. Rusty Blood Hopper backing off with Sweet Ride, passing him, but look at Old Man Glory in four, taking the victory. That was a good win. Very good win. Old Man Glory was second overall last meet, going down to Soundbreaker. He's into the championship race for meet seven. One more time to see if he can get back into the winning lists. Sweet Rye had a great, they were all great. It was a very, very close race. Even Rusty Blood Pumper wasn't too far off. However, that's his fourth dead last and his second in a row. He's not looking too great, but he's not too far off. Race two, we've got two top ten cars here. Firstly, the Grand National sits up the middle in lane three. He currently sits in seventh. Then we've got Red Devil, the old veteran, in lane one, sitting in tenth. But the favorite for this race is not a top seed. It's the Purple People Eater, who sits in currently twelfth position in lane four. On the strength of, he is the only car in this field that won last meet. And pundits of figuring that his run has started, his comeback is started last last uh, meet. We'll see if that continues today. Joining them will be Black Beauty. Oh, he has won nothing this year. He has been in terrible form, terrible form. And the other car is Hot Lava in lane five. Good to see the two Regals up against each other, which is better, the Grand National or Hot Lava. That's a side bet. Let's find out who the second car in the championship race will be. Purple People Eater and Hot Lava head-to-head -head on the inside, and look at the Red Devil scorching on the outside. He's gotten past. Purple People Eater on the line. That was damn close. Good run between the two chargers. Little bit of an upset there, just, to, just slightly. Even though Red Devil, that's his second win of the season. Uh, last win was in Meet 4, Meet 5, and 6. Well, a couple of second places in the preliminaries. So he's got some good form. So it shouldn't be that much of a surprise. Ah, oh, the run has ended, has it? Has it really? Before it even begun. For all people, Purple People Eater. Wow. And the Grand National beats Hot Lava, so that shows you who the best Regal is. And Black Beauty, as, as mentioned, coming last, not doing much, not doing much at all. Race three, and we've got the defending Grand Champion Pearl in lane five. Two wins this year. He's up against a field of cars. They have not won at all this year. We got rookies all through, except for Striper, who sits in two. The rookies are White Knight in one, X Factor in three, Custom Made in four. They're all in the bottom end of the field. Maybe Striper has a chance. He's sitting in 15th at the moment. Just maybe he might get there. The other guys won't. For old Custom Made, he sits in dead last. And his last five meets, he's run dead last in the preliminary. So this should be a training run for Pearl. But did I just put the kiss of death on him? Let's see. Oh. 
Earl drops like a bomb, leading on to the front. He's racing away from Striper past the White Knight. White Knight's trying to hang on to third. He will, but it's Pearl. It was a training run. He devastated them. Is the defending grand champion back? He's put back to back wins in consecutive meets for the first time this season, and he does sit in eighth position. So, is this the run? Is it coming? Striper put up a decent fight. He's got some speed, and White Knight tried desperately to hang on to him. The other two, though, they were fighting out for last, and X Factor just made it across the line before Custom made. There we go. We've got two semi finalists from last week Pearl and Old Man Glory. And we've got, of course, Red Devil. So that's three cars. We've got two more races in the preliminaries. Who's going to make the big dance? Race four, and the favorite for this race is the top seed, sitting in fifth position. It's El Campeon, up the middle lane three. He is the only car in his field who won last meet. He is the unbackable favorite. He has five wins, the last four consecutively. Looking damn good. His competition, though, is Musclebound in lane one, Blue Meaty in lane two, Freezing Falcon in fifth. Four and white chocolate in five. Now, not far off the top ten are Blue Meanies. It's in eleventh, and Musclebound thirteenth. They're looking if they can get a win here today, they can break into the top ten for sure. Big ass though against El Campeon. He's on fire. Uh, Freezing Falcon has worked his way off the bottom of the ladder into twenty first. <laughs> <laughs> he was running dead last for so long. Oh, he's be, he'd be happy to be in that position he's in. But poor old White Chocolate to his right assumed that position. He is equal last on that bottom of the ladder. There you go. All right. Who's going to be the fourth car in? <laughs> Good drop to White Chocolate. He's onto the flat. Moving here. Falcon up past him. Lumini has the lead, Musclebound's right on his hammer, oh poor old El Campeon coming in third, what an upset, oh, Blue Mini for the win. Career win number 10 puts the Blue Mini into veteran class statistically wise, that was a great win, he and Musclebound took out the top seed in El Campeon, what happened, what happened, Friesen Falcon, he'll remain off the bottom of the ladder uh, putting poor old white chocolate to that task well what a race what a win to blue meanie race five last of the preliminary rounds and there sits the meet six winner up the middle in lane three it's soundbreaker he currently sits in second position, one point behind Old Man Glory. If he gets into this race, championship race, and can beat Old Man Glory, he'll take the lead today. But he's got to win here first. To his left, sitting in fifth, is Big Bad Bluer, the legendary four-time former grand champion. And then to his left, we've got... Bullet, who sits in third. He led the competition early, but has kind of stagnated a bit. But that's the big three there. Three top ten cars on the left-hand side of the field. On the right, we've got Firestorm, the veteran in four, and Candy Rouge. Neither winning this year. Both consigned to the lower half of the ladder. Not expected to do much, especially against these top three cars. Let's see... Can Soundbreaker do it? Good tight race, Big Bad Blue is nosing ahead, but here comes Bullet on the outside, they're level, it's gonna be close, oh, it's Bullet! Bullet took him right on the line, that was dead even most of the way. Big upset here, Bullet is in, he beats ba Big Bad Blue and Soundbreaker to get into the championship race. This is his first championship race since meet three. 
He went on a rip roar and tear in the first three meets, winning the first meet, uh, coming second overall in the third meet, but consecutively making the three championship races to meets four, five, and six, where he came second in the preliminaries and could not, could not buy himself a championship race. Wow, so here he is back in the big time. See what he does with it. Big bad bluer. What's happened to him? He won meet five. He was the champion, meet champion, and since then, a couple of second seconds in the preliminaries. So he's waiting to get back. Firestorm even beat Soundbreaker. That's a big, big loss there to Soundbreaker. Wow, and Candy Rouge coming in last. What a race. What an upset. It's championship race time. Yes, these are the five quickest cars of the day. Four of them are top ten cars. And if you count Blue Meanie, well, after this win this week, he will go into the top ten next week. So effectively, all five are top cars. We've got just the two cars from last meet's championship race. That's Old Man Glory in one, who is the favorite to win here. He's the championship leader up against the grand champion defending. That's Pearl. There we go. The debutants for this championship race, for this meet, we've got Red Devil, the old veteran. Oh, he's looking good. He's a hot-looking car. I love this Charger. On the other side of Pearl, we've got uh, Blue Meanie. He is fantastic also. And Bullet, Bullet's back finally after the doldrums. Three meets of running second in the preliminaries. He's back in the big dance. He is currently sitting in third. Wow, if he can win today, he could retake that lead? Well, no, but he'll get a lot closer. He'll come a lot closer. Right, can anyone beat Old Man Glory? Porter headed on the inside. Old Man Glory is getting past. Red Devil on the outside. There's the hurdle with Bullet. He's gone past him on the line. Whoa, that was a great start by Bullet, but he couldn't hold on. He couldn't hold on. Great start to Bullet. Bit slow for Old Man Glory, but once he got onto the flat, he rocketed past Red Devil, leveled Bullet, and got past him on the line. Oh, Pearl was up the middle, but could not do anything better than third. Red Devil was... They were all close. It was a pretty good race, but except for Blue Meanie, after a great start, once he hit the flat, it was... He just lost all pace. Oh, wow. But Old Man Glory, his run continues. He extends his lead at the top of the competition. Time for the standings, and with that win, Old Man Glory has a 12-point lead over Bullet. Now, who moves into second place past Soundbreaker by two points? Well, look at that. Gas Monkey is in fourth. Big Bad Bluer in fifth. Just one point behind him is El Campion. Uh, further up into the ten goes Pearl, the defending grand champion, up to seventh now. The Grand National 8, Red Devil 9, and rounding out the 10 is Sweet Ride on 34 points. Oh, I really thought Blue Mini would be in the 10, but he's 5 points in arrear, still in 11. Purple People Leader, look at those names, some good ones there, Stripers hanging on, but pretty much all these cars are out of it now. We've got a few left to go. We've got three meets left. And I'm telling you, if Old Man Glory can win one, one of those, next one, he's got it sewed, man. Yeah, he's getting a bit of a lead. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. See you next time.